Hello guys, welcome back. Today we will see how we can create Apache Superset customized Docker image and deploy it. So for this as well, I have created this readme. It is not completed. I will uh, per, uh, complete it once I record this video because I still want to verify a few things. So basically we have this GitHub Supersets GitHub. I am going to clone it till a depth of 1 and space i'm going to select specifically 4.0 branch which is uh, i believe it is latest so i'm just going to a, uh, a folder i'm going to open it in terminal and let me clear it it is because of that thing powershell permission so it is cloning as we are just doing that one so it will take less time as compared to cloning entire thing you can, uh, if you have already cloned it, you can just switch your branch to 4.0 using checkout. But if you haven't, then you can just directly download it. Now I'm going to move inside superset. And uh, then we are going to create directory structure like this. So basically what I will do, I will just open VS code in here. And inside vs code uh, you will see all the directory structure and everything is here so few things that we have to do we have to create a copied we have to create a structure just like this so i am going to create a directory inside the root directory of the superset which is here i am calling it to be copied into assets inside this let me do one thing i am going to create my name underscore and then images because there are a few assets already there so we don't want those to overlap now to do logo and favicon let me do one thing i will stop here and i will copy all these things in there okay so i'm back like this is how i have copied it my company logo.png and favicon now once it is done let's do uh, other changes Basically what changes we have to do is we have to configure our docker file and add some things into a docker file specifying that we have to copy this image into our app directory in static and so on. I will show you how it is. So let me open the docker file here. Here what I have specified is find this thing. So let me quickly find it. I guess we have couple of places where it is i am going to specify over here because here superset is also copying so their own so what what whenever i add something i am just going to do something like this i'll just copy this thing paste it now let it let it be because it is saying that who is owner of the things that we are copying so instead of this what i'm going to do I'm going to drag this and shift it. So basically it is just the root directory where we have copied all the things so that it will copy all the directory structure as we have mentioned. Now we don't want this to be in our root directory of our docker. We want it to be specifically where the static files and everything is spaced. You can see it is available here, not here actually this thing. So I, what I'm going to do, I'm going to wrong place this in assets we are going to copy it so app superset static assets let me quickly verify it superset static assets correct so you can either do this way or you can just do dot slash because our current working directory is going to be app so anything is fine and uh, so we have copied all the things that's what we are seeing now let's do one thing uh what we are going to do we are going to create an image docker image so let's copy this thing and run it so what we are going to tell docker is to build an image with name this and it need to file the docker file in our current directory so when i do it let me hit enter this is going to take a lot of time because it is going to download all the files and everything and uh, if you don't have like 16 gigs of ram and something then this is also going to give you issue i tried it on macbook air uh, it has just 8 gigs of ram it failed i tried on my uh, laptop also 
again it failed but here when i tried same steps it worked for me here i mean when we build docker image it fails at npm install because it needs uh, even their documentation is also saying that uh, you should avoid doing it if you have low resources laptop like having eight less than 16 gigs of ram you can see here uh, it cop it executed the command that we just added which is specifying copy ch on superset to be copied and it copied it into app superset static assets okay now our image is ready let me go to docker you can see our image is available here in images in docker i'm going to copy the name and now as we want our superset to use uh, i guess i missed one thing let's do let's do one more time uh, i'm going to go to superset config i guess that should work let's do one thing i'll just skip it and I'll try it. If it doesn't work, then we will build again. So let me go here. Going to copy app name and uh, in superset config file, which is available in Docker Python path, I'm going to specify it somewhere over here, not above salary here. Saying app name is my reporting application. Then uh, app icon, I'm going to specify it here and in assets we have copied it to where we copied it static assets and inside that we have our own director structure so which is let me copy relative path change it to this static assets inside assets uh, you will find our images and inside that we should have our app icon and it is not favicon it should be my company look oops it copied entire thing so replace it again same thing for favicon also so i'm going to copy it paste it href static assets S copying again this thing and i'm not sure if i mean i'm now feeling a bit worried if the path is correct or if i'm missing a child uh, a route or a, a directory in between let's see i'll show you how even we can check it so it should not be an issue it might take some more time but that should be fine now uh our configuration file is ready we configured our superset config we copied our files now we are ready to be we are ready to deploy our docker so to deploy we are currently using we will be using non-compose dev which is this one here on line 17 you will see that superset image is this now i am going to comment it and paste it just below instead of writing this we are going to go to our docker copy this thing you can see its name and then the tag uh, it has that is latest and paste it over here that's it now it knows which image to use which image to refer at the end oops so let me do it now you can see it is pulling uh, it is not pulling superset it is pulling your redis it is pulling your database that is postgresql and then it will deploy all these three things as and I guess I also missed one thing not to load examples so basically you can configure examples to load from non devil inside docker here uh, in sorry the cnv non in non dev env here in place of where it was superset load example if you do it no it is not going to load your example if it is by default it is specified as yes so it will record it will load your examples so let it load not an issue and uh, let me try to open 
and you can see our logo is here i mean our path was correct and even you can see our favicon is also appearing on the top so this is how we can create our own customized docker image and deploy it now i am going to show you in case if you don't find the path where we copied and just like how i was worried if you are also worried and the path is not correct how you are going to check it go to the docker go to your container in this you have to specifically find superset app in this go to exec now just do pwd you should be in app folder in app if you do ls you will see there are lot of things now specifically go to our docker file and where we have copied it just move it move to there so cd oops and select do ls you should be able to see lot of things but what we did we copied uh so what we copied we copied this thing shan images so you should be able to see it over here now i am going to search it manually but basically what you can do you can just do if you I mean, just like how i am confident that it is going to be there because it rendered so what i can do i am going to just say consider just drag it and oops, drag it copy it copy the name because i don't want to misspell it incorrectly and go in here here it means the directory is here you can see pwd pwd we are currently in shan images and if you go ls you will see the favicon icon is also here my company logo is here and so on so if you want to copy anything if you want to configure anything you should be able to do using docker file and build your own docker now uh, if you don't want to do this you just want to use ready made what you can do you can host your logos and this and just provide in configuration file this is where your logos are and it will work so that's it for this video if you like this video please do like share and subscribe thanks for watching bye